What's up everyone, Hobbit here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time we robbed the O'Driscoll gang, took their dynamite and we were planning to rob a train that they were gonna rob. So let's see what happens this time. And actually I wanted to check out this journal that we have. Let's see what's in there. That's Blackwater. Pretty small town. Hmm. He's not a bad artist. I bought this new journal after the last one got destroyed in that fire all those months ago, whenever it was. Haven't written in hmm, haven't written or drawn much in the past few months. But I was missing it more than I thought I would. And finally near a store, so here I am, I guess. You know what, I'm gonna read it like this. After all that business up north and the fire, we spent a few month, months in the wilderness traveling down from the northern grizzlies. Stuck mostly in the western foothills of the mountains during the worst of the winter. Food was easy to find and life was good. Dutch had a lead for some land we were gonna buy, but the land did not match up to his criteria, or he got spooked we were being watched by the law and that, some, and that somebody knew who he was, and we never bought it and we're wandering still. We picked up a couple of new folk in the Grizzlies. Jenny, a sweet young girl we met abandoned on the roadside, and Micah, an outlaw Dutch met in a bar someplace. Dutch seems very taken with Micah, who is pretty hot-headed, argumentative, and full of himself. Jose and I are less sure. Guess we shall see. Eventually we came out of the wilderness and are now holed up outside of Blackwater, although sometimes I stay in town, hunting for opportunities. I might be onto something. We'll get plenty of money, and the trail we took was so torturous and slow nobody could have followed us south and east, or figured out where we was heading. We was thinking about California, but then Dutch and Hosea brought us down to Blackwater. That's pretty nice. Like quick sketches. But look, he gets the proportions that people just write. You can see that these are pretty quick sketches, actually. He's good. Blackwater has apparently grown a whole lot since any of them was last here. I was told to expect little more than a trading post, but the place is growing fast and it's almost a small city. The town seems to be riddled with corruption, but there's certainly plenty of money here. It's good to be sleeping in a bed from time to time and living a more civilized life after so long under canvas, but I did not particularly like being this near to a town. We are living here. Camping outside town mostly, hidden in plain sight, I guess. Life seems pretty easy. Abigail and Marston keep arguing. I wonder why exactly he came back. He cannot seem to decide if he wants to be a father to that boy of his or not. The arguing is exhausting. I heard talk of a man sounded like Trelawney, but we haven't seen him for many months. So, Marston is the protagonist of the first game, right? I... well, this is uh, probably... Like pointing to the events of that game, uh, but I can't really comment on that. I don't know what happened there. Wonder if he did decide to be a father to that boy. Jose and I are onto something, something pretty big. Might be a lot of cash coming in to do with a real estate scam Jose thinks he may have discovered. I'm not sure yet. The perfect crime, we think. One where we rob crooks. We are being real careful. It's fun working with Jose again. The man is an artist of nonsense. Even if nothing comes of it, we're having an amusing enough time. It's good to be running scams again. Jose is a born huckster. He's getting anxious, worried that by lingering in town we're going to bring undue attention on ourselves. But Dutch thinks he's also onto something big. His words, not mine. Bank money being brought in by boat, apparently. So for now, you're working on both things and seeing what happens. Plan is to flee west into the desert country someplace if we can. Oh, so that's that's what happened. Well, not what happened yet, but that's the boat where something happened. 
I'm guessing robbery gone wrong. Micah and Dutch are planning to rob the ferry in town. They think it's laden with riches, cash coming in for the banks, coming in by boat. For once, I'm not getting involved in the job. Jose and I are too taken up with our business, which I believe could go very well, and Dutch seems confident that with the group assembled, all will be okay. Plan is for them to carry out the job, then flee into the wilderness out to the west. The next day, Jose and I carry out our scam and join them. Dutch seems happy and excited. He's talking again about California, but he's also talking about a lot of other places. Nice. <laughs> a little less nice, but still pretty cool. Still better than I could do. Coulter. We've been running for weeks. I mean running more than usual. The job they was pulling in Blackwater, robbing that ferry, it turned into a disaster. Young Jenny got killed, poor thing, while, Sh while Sean and Mac both got arrested, or killed, nobody seems sure which. Dutch shot a girl, I'm not too sure if by accident or design, and seems like it might have been a setup. We took to the hills in, in an almighty scramble, leaving money and most of our things behind. Oh, whoops. David T. Then, as we were fleeing east over the Grizzlies, an almighty storm hit us. David Callender, who had got, who had got shot in the gut on the raid, passed away. It was brutal to watch, and the rest of us nearly froze, but we found shelter and have been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we await the thaw. Davy, not Davy T, Davy died. Camp Coulter. Yep. Yep, 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 looks like the camp. Oh, look, it's train. <laughs> Hardly the spring I'd been hoping for. Jose and I had been planning a robbery of our own in Blackwater, but I guess that's been abandoned along with most of what I owned. I am profoundly concerned as to what happens next, once we leave this place or the law finds us covering up here. Found a girl, well a woman I should say, her husband had, had been murdered by some of Combe O'Driscoll's boys. Nasty business. Riding out. Ridge, that's the railway I guess. Lucas Cornwall. Seems Como Driscoll had the same ideas as us. He's been hiding up here, scouting out a train he wanted to rob. We bumped into some of his boys at some farmstead they was robbing, found that poor woman whose husband they had murdered, and she's now riding with us, as she ain't got no place better to be. Then, Dutch being Dutch, Dutch and his hatred for Com being just as powerful as ever it was, a whole bunch of us went to pay him a visit in his camp, but he escaped. Oh, this is a much better train. Really cool looking. We crept one of his boys. Poor bastard ain't spoken yet, but he will once we freeze him a little. Then said Bill on him. Been a bad few weeks, but we're mostly still alive. Dutch being Dutch is busy making plans and figuring out just how we're gonna survive. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Oh, I guess that's it. Alright. Well, in that case, let's go for a little walk and see what we can do here. Oh, this is some heavy snow. Why, Arthur, why were you standing in that exact spot? And what's going on here? Peep. They'll yep. come looking for me, you know. Or maybe they'll come looking for those old Driscoll boys we killed at that ranch down the way. Who was that? Declan? Fat Tommy? We didn't get as far as introductions. <laughs> What's the study thing? Yeah, show info. Oh! Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, I can now figure out uh, horse stats. That's cool. How long are you gonna keep me like this? Ain't decided yet. Oh, I'm freezing to death here. All going to plan then. <laughs> Come on, talk to me. No? No. Ooh, sorry. Also no. What? Wait. Can't talk to them? Well, alright then. 
Guess I'm going to the other side first. Oh, hey, who's that? Lenny. You having fun in here, Lenny? More since we robbed the old Driscolls. <laughs> I like Hopefully that. Hopefully, huh? we'll be out of here soon. Well, just hang in there. Hang in there, Lenny. Good luck. Good luck to you too. Is I supposed to go through the stables or something? Or is there another door here? Oh no, here we go. <coughs> Ooh. We're gonna starve Look to at death this. up here, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> Speak to your companion by holding right mouse button to focus on him and using the interaction options. Yeah. Pearson. That's the P Pearson. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? Ten, twelve people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. <clears throat> well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. <laughs> Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found Enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Guess that makes sense. Come on, this way. <laughs> yeah, 22 arrows and some assorted salted offal, which sounds pretty How awful. Charles? Much speed by holding okay. or tapping left shift. From this hand. Stupid mistake. Feel bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. Got riding north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. And it still keeps snowing. It's just some May. Going to any certain place, I wonder. Oh. Huh? 
Let's look down this way. Hmm. The wind's died down, too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. No, shh. Stay quiet. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Oh, what's it? Deer been here and recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. Oh, you look at it. Oh, whoops. Don't leave it on your <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> that was the wrong button. I meant to. I meant to come. Bad. <laughs> oh, no. I punched a horse. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, horse. There's no point setting off without that bow. No. Damn it. <laughs> Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. I'm really sorry. Try to stay low. Okay. You see the tracks? We're crouching uh, now. So. Maybe not. Focus. Wait, see the tracks? There they are. Use eagle eye to highlight animal tracks and other clues. Is this eagle eye? Oh, metal bug. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I can see him for now. Because I equipped another weapon. Okay. Here's the tracks. Wonder what animal that is. Where to go? Oh, there we go. Yeah. There Down it is. There. You see him? Yep. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. The aim further you draw the string back, the more neck. damage your arrow will inflict. Holding it too long kill. will reset your aim. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Take the shot. Nice. See if you can get another one. Is there another one? Other side, huh? All right. Let me get that one first. Attract an animal's attention by selecting call while aiming at it. This will give you a chance of a clean kill. And something, something. <laughs> Couldn't read it in time. Oh, oh, oh! There is another one. Two, actually. I see him. Let me get this one first. If I can. Can I? Uh, no. Hmm. Okay, well. Crouching in the freezing water. Guess it's worth it, because we really want to eat, right? When close, study an animal to discover information on it and its quality. Health quality is reduced with average or poor kills. Oh. How close? Close do I have to be? So let me try calling it. Well, that didn't work. You're making yourself too obvious. Do I have to be hiding when I call? How does that work? 
There's one on that side. Did they both cross? That's what happens. Oh, this has to be freezing cold. Kinda wanted to come closer and study, but... I don't know if I can. This one's keeping a lookout. Maybe I can... Very, very quietly. Oh, oh! He's gonna see me. She. Still not close enough to study. White-tailed deer. Compendium tracks what you have discovered in the world. It can be accessed in the progress section of the pause menu. Cool. F1? Oh, never mind. Hmm. Whoops. Come on. Okay, that was stupid. And oh, look at my stamina there. Wow. Ran off that way. Careful. This might be our only chance for a good meal. I should eat something, I think. To restore my stamina. Sure. Right, so they all went up, right? More or less, more or less. Or at least one of them did. Wonder how obvious I am when I sprint like this. Whoa, whoa. There it is. Keep following the tracks, Arthur. Yep, we got it. Oh, there's a lot of blood from that. Damn. I'm sorry, little deer, but we need to eat. That's it. Done. Okay, that'll do it. I think that's all we can carry. Yeah, probably. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. The horse will respond as long as it's in range. Continue to bond to increase the distance at which it responds to the whistle. Okay. So it's not like a magical horse. It'll only respond when in range. Come on, horse. I'm sorry for hitting you earlier. There, boy. I pushed the wrong button. Yeah. Okay. Meet up with Charles. Let's go.
What a beautiful place, though. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. Let's. Uh, careful. Animal carcasses can be dropped off to nice Pearson. Work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> That's true. Seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? Still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. <laughs> the girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband or all <laughs> everything she had. Yeah, so I what mean. do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Oh, Maybe that we can get to okay. them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Bear, oh Let's no. see if we can find another way around. Y yeah. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. So, okay. Let me just match your speed here. Of course, no. Cut up here, off the trail. Yeah, best do that. Come on. Bear has spooked my horse. Oh, okay. Hold G to calm my horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes total sense that the horse got spooked. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. <laughs> oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. For <laughs> a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, 
That ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. How long have you been with these boys? Why? Where are you going? Why you run off? Me? Twenty oh, years, something like that. Ah, Since twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah. Yeah. In a gang, twenty years. Tell me to read. Oh Time man. Two. Tell me a few other things, even Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Don't save me. Save most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Yeah. Wonder who got away from that How's bear. That new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! Oh, watch it. Oh. All right, boy. It's next to mine. You don't want him running off. I will, I will. <sighs> Come on, get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. Just drop it down in here. I mean, I'm trying. There we go. No, wait. There we go. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. He loves me, <laughs> really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. <laughs> yeah. See you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'm gonna be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. That's Who's really joking? Job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. The one I brought then. Put E. Yeah. Now I can skin the animals they kill in the wild, presumably. Huh. Not too bad, Mister Morgan. Yeah, they always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> really do need it. <coughs> Unlock the Master Hunter Challenge. Check your log for more information. A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch. Being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. 
Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. Oh. You see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? The weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big yeah, I was wondering. railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch. Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Ooh, this should be interesting. All right, we're moving out. Follow me. Master Hunter, skin some deer. One out of three for now. Okay, gentlemen. Listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the Odrisman, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep a lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride. Seems like we've been riding for quite a while. Or not. I thought it was uh, evening. Smoke, Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing. Before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell. Charles Smith. Arthur Morgan. Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes short. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do Not this, again. then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? 
That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. There it is. is Bill there? Yeah. There's you Bill. You wanna head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Whoa! Yeah, good boy. Good boy. What are you waiting for? Hold on. Yeah, let me get this. The Peter. Uh, I think the revolver I'll keep. And the rest as well. Yeah, let me take the rifle though. Just in case. This is a good spot. Yeah. I must remember to thank Home O'Driscoll for planning it out. So well for us. And providing all the explosives. <laughs> Real generous of the fella. Well, go on then. I'm going, I'm going. Let me just, yeah. Holster, quote unquote, my rifle. But otherwise. Stamina increased. Ooh, you increase things by using them. I do wonder. Stamina attribute determines how. Oh, well, yeah, stamina. Mm -hmm. Through gameplay. Alright, I'll have to remember that. Weight. Eating too much or too little will make you become overweight or underweight. Ooh, didn't know that. If you are overweight, stamina will be affected negatively and health will improve. If you're underweight, health will be affected negatively and stamina will improve. Seems like weight should be kept in the middle. Well being. If your well being deteriorates, your stealth stamina and dead eye will be negatively affected. Well. Alright. That's good to know. How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. How's this? Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. You sure? Can't talk to you, huh? You're busy. Well, you go ahead. I'll head back to the others. Says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? It is. I don't think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Wait, where's my Oh, items. Right, 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 right. It's like a COVID face mask. mask. We're all being responsible. There's going to be a lot of people on that train. We're probably going to be in close Gentlemen, proximity to them. It's time. So we're wearing masks. 
Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Oh, I was under the impression it was coming out of the tunnel. Oh no. No, what? God! Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that more? You said it was fine. It's my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Oh, we're jumping on the train. Oh. Here we go. Oh no. Someone fell off. Javier. Is this Lenny? Lenny. Hey, down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got you. Now stop yelling. Stop. Shit. Huh? Oh. Yeah, you're okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Oof. Where's Javier? He fell off, man. He fell. Yeah, this will get him. Let's go. Come on, we need to stop this train. Wait, what's to take? Oh, this is it. Potent bitters. I'll take that. Consume yellow tonics to fortify your bars. The fortified by bar can be There's used for a short period without draining. This tonic will fortify the stamina bar. Cool. Who's going? Snake oil. Yeah, go ahead. I just want to loot all of them. Should we move up? Miracle tonics. I'm going up. We have to stop this train. What is wrong with you boys? No! How are you doing there? I'm okay. We gotta hurry. We have to stop this train. That's what we're doing, kid. Whoa. <laughs> God damn. Uh, do I have to hold or keep pushing? I have to keep pushing, I think. of this car. How do I... Oh. It's already there. I thought I had to go to, like, to the very front. Someone sniped me just now. Holy. Oh, Lenny died. All right. Well, not a ride, obviously, but I was just surprised.
still okay? I think so. Good. Good kid. Where the hell are they? I don't know. Damn it. I thought that was all of them. We're gonna get out of here. Oh, I know we are. Anyone else? Yep. I see you. Wow, there's a lot of people. Okay, I need to hide. Hide, hide, hide. Take cover. Oh, those are our guys. Good shoot, kid. I can see now why the old Driscoll's brought so many boys up here for this. Over yeah. Get over here. Hold on. Let me search a couple of bodies. Chewing tobacco. Oh, it's fine, you I guess. All right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake him up a little! Coming out! We got no one in here! That's enough! Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now Here light the go. fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Cover your ears. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> All right, let's get on. Come on, Arthur. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, oh yeah. You got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, oh yes. Should be easy as cake. Expect this letter. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. <laughs> Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay. Letter. Let's see if we can get this open. Letter to Leviticus Cornwall from Leland Oil Development Company. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive payment of two thousand dollars. Well. For the initial phase phase of exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reservation, and there. Reno. See, that's how it's done. As agreed in the contract. Shit, it's just a pile of papers. As agreed Long? in the contract between I Cornwall, Kerosene, so. and Tar. Here, make yourself okay. useful. At least we all anyway. know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts. Invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Not yet. I wanted to listen to you guys. Let me read this letter. 
and then that other one too. Just wait. All right, Any letter to Leviticus no, Cornwall here. from Archibald Jameson. Dear Leviticus, well, let's keep th looking. thank you for the telegram and for your God continued damn, interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news you have received of mismanagement or financial... Arthur, have you looked down the end there? Let me read the letters. <sighs> well, keep looking. There must be something. Any news I've received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Ennisburg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of the coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Ennisburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to further correspondence. Yours sincerely, Archibald Jameson. Alright. Mining company letter. What else do we have here? Oh, I'll take the brandy, for sure. Uh, this was the first letter, right? No, oil, mining. Yeah, oil. Let's read this again. Uh, we're yet to receive payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reservation and Barino as agreed in the contract between Cornwall Kerosene and Tar and the Leland Oil Development Company dated November 9th, 1898. On receipt of, receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three of the project and present you with a detailed report of our findings within the month. Yours respectfully, Leland Oil Development Company. All right, I see. Looking at cabinets. There's a cigar. Why? Oh, why can I not take the cigars? What's what's going on with that? See, I really want to, but it's grayed out. Do I like have too many cigars or something? None of these are smokes. These are cigarettes, cigar. So let's see. If I smoke this one, can I take that one? Yep. I was maxed out on cigars. Man. Which is three. Now, this looks like some. Three cigars is my max. He's a sensible man. Doesn't carry too many cigars with him. Bond. I think. Oh, none of this. Okay. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> Anything else? I wonder if Eagle Eye shows me something. Oh yeah. There's this table. So. Premium cigarettes. Bill stack. Oh, yes. Just waiting Ins on inspect you card. Oh, Otis Miller, boys. Anything on their side? Famous Gunslingers Let Outlaws. Series now. 1. Frank Heck, Otis Miller's boys. Oh, this, this is the... Yeah, this is the full list. All right, famous gunslinger card Are you two. Almost, almost. Hold on. Guess I can't take this cigar either, huh? No. I'll take the brandy. Anything else in here? Uh, not much, actually. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you! 
Let's ride! Yeah. Alright, what do you think, fellas? Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three of you. So behave. Come on, move! We won't tell a soul, I swear! Go on, Say get on quick. the train. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. That's right. Took the mask off though. Oh, for Lord's sake, put that book away and go help. <laughs> Is that Lenny? Keeps reading. So, so I hear. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> well, I guess we keep moving. That seems very prudent given that we've just dropped the train and those men will definitely tell the police what happened to Pinkertons. Tell them our names, probably. It will be long gone by then. Wonder what the real plan is. Like, get far away and wait how long till they get to Blackwater and hope, hope that the money's still there. They stashed it somewhere. I mean... Lenny! Micah! Get over here! What sort of stash yes, is boss. completely Keep safe? Right up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Now it's spring. Now it looks like May. Wonder if they've been riding long. Easy. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look. Yeah. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. How do you fix right, the wheel on the wagon? Let me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. <laughs> Pick the wheel up. Just put it on. Yeah, that makes sense, but then what? 
If it broke, it actually broke. Yeah, just bash it on, huh? Okay. That's cool. So useless after all. Convenient mechanism. Not quite. Oh no, you do something else afterwards. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay. Oh no, who's that? What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. A lot of things happened. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yeah. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. <laughs> hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yep. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Uh, it's a long story. Yeah. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct oh, direction no. on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. What a wildlife around. Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. But what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. Horseshoe Overlook. We'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. 
Ginseng. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. You acquired some herbs. These can be consumed to replenish your cores used in cooking or to craft items. Interesting. A lot of uses for them, huh? All right, variety of plants can be found throughout the world. Pick them to learn about them. There you are, brother. Head in there. You follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Yeah, go ahead. There Wait. we go. Nice. Did, did I slow up? Yeah, well. Let's go. Come on. Oh, no, we're waiting. Okay, let's go. It's fine. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Great. Perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. <laughs> Arthur and I were about Hopefully. to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are yeah. itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, <laughs> we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Oof. Well, okay then. Chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. A couple of weeks later. Got off the mountain, rode east into some 
Pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Camera. Beard's getting long. You can use the shaving kit beside your tent to visit a barber shop. Undiscovered equipment. Eagle Talent Talisman. Ooh. Iguana Scale Trinket. Do I choose them or craft it from rare legendary animal parts? I didn't do this. This might have been like a bonus or something. Camera, obviously. See the distance, lantern, lasso. Yeah, that all makes sense. Only one? Shouldn't it be? Oh, I didn't study the bear. That's why. White tailed deer, total progress 75, killed 2, skinned 1. Found in a variety of habitats across the states, but are common to the forests of New Hanover, Lemoyne, and West Elizabeth. Their herbivorous diet includes grasses, nuts, fungi, twigs, and fruit. Keeping your distance when hunting deer can increase your chances of a kill as they are easily startled. Long range weapons such as a rifle or a bow with poison arrows, poison arrows, huh? Are considered to be the best when hunting. Deer hide can be used in crafting, and their venison meat can be used for cooking. Six equipment, no fish, one gang. I'm guessing the O'Driscoll boys, yep. After finding success and competing for scores with Dutch's gang, yep. Like I was uh, guessing, it's a competing gang. Out in the west, the O'Driscoll boys headed to the plains of Valentine. The gang are known for enrolling new members that are considered to be disposable. The O'Driscoll boys are renowned for the easy money schemes, which often consist, consist of robbing banks, looking for a fun time, and their love of whores. Well. Plants. There was one, at least. American ginseng shrubs can be identified by the long, large palmate leaves, smooth stems, and small cluster of red berries. The cluster of berries is smaller than the clusters found in Alaskan ginseng. These plants are native to forests and moist areas from West Elizabeth to the edges of New Hanover. This medicinal plant can be crafted into medicine or consumed to replenish your health core. I did not know that uh, there was ginseng in America. Yarrow. Easily recognized by the long thin stems and red clusters red clusters of flowers. This plant can be found in grasslands and open forest areas in New Hanover and Lemoyne. Yarrow can be consumed to replenish health core or crafted into medicine. Just Yarrow and ginseng for now. Horses, weapons, cigarette cards. Oh, that's what that was, cigarette cards. Interesting. Right. Oh, so right through my boy, my dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first <laughs> time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. All right, I think I'll stop for now, go on next time.
uh, and start something new. Choose from all of this that we have available here. Maybe go into town or something. Uh, for now, though, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.